नमस्कार आई हैव विद मी पद्मश्री रेसिपियन डॉक्टर सुधीर पारेख इन आर वीकली शो दिस वीक विद डॉक्टर सुधीर पारेख ऑन आई टी वी गोल्ड नमस्कार डॉक्टर पारेख हाउ यू डूइंग टूडे गुड गुड नमस्कार Uh, you know, uh, let me uh, start with the recent uh, attack on the Indian embassy in London. You know, India responded uh, by downgrading the security of the British High uh, Commission in Delhi, and you know we saw that create some uh, quick uh, action in London. So my question to you is: uh, Should we need to use the diplomatic muscle to demand security of uh, such? Uh, I, I, in my personal opinion, no, because uh, I think uh, every country has responsibility of, to protect the other country's uh, embassy. Uh huh. Because after all, embassy is nothing but the country itself. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So uh, if we protect uh, UK embassy in Delhi, uh mm huh, -hmm. they should uh, protect uh, with full strength uh, our embassy in London. right and i'm sure that uh, they might have um, kind of uh, some kind of uh, because in uk uh, the sec i mean uh, secret service is so powerful uh, they, they they must have some kind of indication that something is going to happen right and so they could have stopped it you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, my next question you know israel you know has been going through intense protests and you know life came to uh, almost stand still yesterday so do you think did benjamin netanyahu miscalculate his move for judicial uh, reform yeah but that is wrong thing you know because it it is uh, is the kind of damaging the uh, what do you call democracy because mm -hmm. in democracy in see israel is a real democracy and just like india and so in democracy usually Uh, you common people has to have somewhere to go at the end mm -hmm. if they are uh, there is injustice right so uh, judiciary system should be about about uh, politics about party about everything right and judiciary system they are the people who understand what is right and wrong there is not tainted by any political thing and i think what uh, netanyahu was trying to do because his plan is to probably if i'm not wrong to get the judiciary in hand mm -hmm. and then because in israel also there is a there is a 50 50 split there right there are 50 uh, i mean half of the israel believe that uh, we should just uh, live with the palestine peacefully mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and harm and uh, and uh, you know and and boost the economy rather than keep fighting and mm -hmm. and be making a mockery of the whole thing mm -hmm. while well, there are half of the conservative israeli they think that no the palestine is our land mm -hmm. and we should we should have everything mm -hmm. so th th that two extreme view here right right so that's why um, the people those who are liberal they 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 want judiciary to survive and in any democracy if judiciary doesn't survive then democracy never survives because if 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 a person who is in charge like prime minister or president if he does any any mistake mm -hmm. who where people can go absolutely right they cannot absolutely. wait for another 5 years or 4 years for election to come mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just like if uh, we found that uh, donald trump was kind of um, not uh, behaving uh, uh, civilized way mm -hmm. there has to be way to stop that mm -hmm. in the de democracy otherwise democracy has no meaning Absolutely. both i'm i'm talking about both side not only one side so i think uh, what that's why people were uh, kind of uh, started protest mm -hmm. and i think what i heard this morning that uh, prime minister netanyahu uh, he, he He, he kind of uh, withdrew his uh, uh, plan to reform the judiciary. Moving on from there, and let's go to India. Rahul Gandhi, he found, you know, was found uh, guilty by a Surat court uh, on the Modi uh, defamation uh, lawsuit. So uh, he was, you know, stripped of his parliament seat, and it has created a war of narratives between BJP and uh, all opposition parties. is it law taking its own course or bjp you know managing the agenda ahead of 2024 lok sabha polls well uh, i would not uh, um, <laughs> comment on this subject uh, because uh, the whole thing is now sub uh, sub judicious right mm -hmm. so let let court decide what what is right and wrong mm -hmm. and uh, it can go both ways mm -hmm. 
because uh, this is not a criminal thing. Right. This is kind of a civilized thing, I mean civil thing. Mm. And the civil thing usually, uh, and, and this defamation thing is again, is a very dicey thing or, or very tricky thing. Mm. I mean anybody can say anything to anybody in democracy because that's called democracy. Right. They have a right to say. So uh, what, whether you agree or not, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And same thing uh, can, uh, can uh, even a ruling party can say anything to anybody right. or any, any caste or anything. So it's very difficult to kind of take a side on this thing. But I think best way to see what happens is very interesting that um, uh, lower, lower, lowest of the low court uh, give their uh, decision Mm -hmm. And then now, High Court and Sup Supreme Court has to decide. Right. And let's let's wait till Supreme Court decides whether they decides uh, which way, mm -hmm. and that will tell us uh, that will have long-lasting effect in the Indian democracy. Absolutely. So you know, moving on from there, let's talk about economy. Let's talk about jobs in uh, USA. You know, especially the economy job front. You know, all big tech companies uh, have done multiple rounds of mega layoffs and, and now Disney just announced 7,000 uh, job right, cuts right. and you know feds the continue to raise interest rates to control recession. So what is our economic outlook in USA? Well our economy is still strong, underlying economy is very strong right now even though uh, fed is increasing uh, rate, I mean interest rate, except the banking f uh, sectors because there, there is a mismanagement of the of the those who are managing those banks mm. is not is nothing to do with the economy, and uh, I know that the layoff is happening because everybody is uh, expecting that there might be a, either soft landing or there is some mild recession uh, mm. at the end of the year, mm. and so big large corporations always they 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 act proactively because they have always have access uh, uh, employed uh, employees. Mm -hmm. uh, because they are a large corporation, they can afford to do that. So now I think they are laying off the people, those who they, they kind of uh, took in a couple of years ago or three years ago or during COVID time, that they're trying to uh, uh, trim their uh, expenses. Right. Because I think recession is bound to happen, right. uh, in my opinion. It mm -hmm. will be uh, maybe mild recession, but it will be, there is a recession. Hmm. Because banking system, particularly the regional bank, is not in good shape hmm. because it was not, not managed by a, a better way. Hmm. Because they all know knew that uh, Fed is increasing the rate, hmm. but uh, how come they still uh, stick their deposit into a long-term bond? That that's uh, I mean no brainer there. I mean even person like me who is a doctor who doesn't know economics can say that that is wrong. Absolutely. So, so the, the, whatever reason they did, that mm. was wrong. And that's why I think I heard yesterday that uh, government is going to punish them somehow. Mm -hmm. So I think they should do that. So then, uh, because it's a people's money, it's not mm. uh, their money, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see. But I think um, recession will be there. So, I mean, uh, it, it, it is very wise. Uh, uh, kind of step by the large corporation to uh, lay off if there is excessive um, uh, force, staff for or force, force in their mm -hmm. uh, company mm -hmm. and otherwise also uh, to trimming the expenses is, is not is a good business sense you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me how do you uh, create a company culture you know when the employees are mostly remote? Well, I think, uh, we, I mean, if I say a little extreme, then I would say that those who wants to come in, in, in the work, mm -hmm. in presence in the work, physically, they should be given uh, extra uh, uh, pay. Mm -hmm. Then everybody will come, I can tell you that. Right. <laughs> so that's the only way to do it. Always money, uh, always hit the wallet and uh, you get the results. <laughs> that, that is <laughs> true. <laughs> You know, uh, let's uh, close with some uh, health uh, questions. You know, controlling uh, inflammation, of course, is beneficial to all health conditions. And uh, they have been, you know, talking about turmeric. It's become a wonder food in the last decade or so. And even red wine has a lot of health benefits. And recent study shows that coffee is another, you know, great for your active lifestyle. But 
may be bad for your sleep. So how important is food and lifestyle to your overall health? I think it's very important. If you eat healthy food you, and if you eat a, a small a portion of the food, frequent time of the day, then I think you, you, you always feel more energetic. Mm -hmm. You have less uh, sugar problem. Mm -hmm. Your weight gain will be less. So these are the advantage. And um, I mean, this, uh, of course, uh, red wine, the study was done by uh, a couple of doctors, but it was sponsored by wineries. Right. So we don't know whether how, how, <laughs> good, it is. how good it is. Right. How good means how biased it is, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's a study is good, but it could be biased too. So, and we know that because we, I run the research center in asthma allergy and respiratory medicine. Hmm. We are the one who, our, our center was part of the COVID vaccine, Moderna, hmm. two years ago. Right. So we know that research is kind of a very strict thing and you cannot be biased. You have to just see the what result comes and then you conclude later at the end. Mm -hmm. But you cannot manipulate the result to get a better conclusion. Right. So, so this uh, turmeric study and this kind of food study and wine study is always biased. Right. Uh, depending upon who who sponsor who is it. Sponsoring it. Yeah, yes. and turmeric. I mean, is a good, is a very anti-inflammatory product. Mm -hmm. uh, one must eat every day some form of the turmeric, mm -hmm. and we are lucky that our. Cuisine has a lot of turmeric in it, so uh, it's good for health. But in order to get the, uh, uh, what do you call, if someone tells me that uh, if you eat turmeric, uh, then uh, you, daily, then you will not have a heart problem, hmm. that's not true either, because, hmm. uh, uh, because it does not lower your blood pressure, it does not do anything. Hmm. And in, in order to do, you have to, you have to eat a bucket full of turmeric. So right. you're not going to eat that much. So right. I think it's all kind of out of context uh, and exaggerated claims. Oh, okay. But of course, turmeric is good. Red wine is also good uh, for um, uh, certain cardiac, I mean, because it does bronchodilate, I mean, uh, vessel dilatation, so uh -huh. it's good for a heart attack, but in, in moderation. That is what I was going to ask you. So do you believe that everything in moderation is good? Good, right. But you know, if you if you go go to the, I mean, just giving you an example. If you go to the uh, Indian gathering, mm -hmm. our our community gathering, mm -hmm. everybody's wine is full of gla glass full up to the rim. Right. But glass cannot be served it up to the rim. Right. Glass always served up to the one fourth of exactly. the glass. Exactly. Wine, I mean. Exactly. Wine has to be served that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, but uh, people are taking all the way up to rim because they think that more they drink, better they are. Yeah, you have to drink in portions. Yeah, portions, right. It's not like fill it that I'll get yeah. like everything if I drink yeah. a whole so glass. Yeah, so in moderation, I mean, yes. answer is moderation, obviously. Absolutely. So uh, before you, uh, you know, give out this week's message to our viewers, I want to remind all our viewers that uh, you can uh, follow Dr. Uh, Sudhir uh, Parekh on Facebook at, that is Dr. Parekh, that's D-O-C-T-O-R-P-A-R-I-K-H. And you can also follow him on Twitter, and the handle is S U D P A R I K H. Well, dear friends, uh, uh, a lot of things are happening uh, here in USA, in India, in Israel, all over the world, Ukraine, Russia, and uh, I think, uh, in particular, in the USA, uh, our economy is strong, but uh, interest rate going up. And uh, probably there will be a mild recession at the end of the year. That's what most of the economics are saying that. So be careful, uh, spend your money wisely, and be happy. So after saying that, I would like to wish God bless America, God bless India, God bless Indian American, and we'll see you next week. Till then, goodbye.